know what it is that I love about the tiny house movement? Me. Apart Sorry. from you, you're not the movement. You're one guy. Yeah, I'm not that big. That makes up part of the many others that make up the movement. <laughs> what do you um, love about it? The people are doing it for themselves. So we're leaving Ulladulla. We got to Burrell Lake after 847 whatever kilometres from home. So uh, Grant was about to give up on us. He said, oh, obviously you've you got way late and you're heading straight to Sydney. I said, no, nah, we're coming. We're like five kilometres away. So... We underestimated how long it was going to take due to the winding roads. I mean, you can guesstimate by um, kilometres, but when you're on a winding, hilly, road through a forest of and course you, you go a lot slower especially if you don't really know the, the road yourself so yeah so we're 210 kilometers away from sydney yeah. we just left ulladulla and we're heading through new south wales to sydney where our airbnb unit waits looking forward to getting to the airbnb i just want to chill you bought the red wine didn't you yeah I just want to have a shower in the kitchen. That's the main reason I booked it, because I want to yeah. check out this bloody shower in the kitchen. This yeah. is cool. Uh, it's a weird setup, but it would be a great talking point, we thought. So and we'll probably have a video along the lines of, would you have a shower in your tiny house kitchen? <laughs> so, you know what it is that I love about the tiny house movement? Me. Apart Sorry. from you, you're not the movement. You're one guy. Yeah, I'm not that big. That makes up part of the many others that make up the movement. <laughs> what do you um, love about it? The people are doing it for themselves. I love that it's exit the roundabout onto Prince's Highway. Making people resourceful, um, independent. In 600 metres at the roundabout, continue Realizing straight onto that. Holland Road, Princes Highway Shit, A1. I can do this. Yeah, they're taking and control of their own destiny. Yeah, it's a, yeah I like taking control of their own destiny. That is what I love about the tiny house movement. And I, it's not that I'm against rules or regulations or any of that. I just think the more rules and the more regulations you put on society, the less freedoms that we have therefore the less destiny we have control of for our own destiny so and that's probably why you've called your your project tiny house destiny isn't it honey yeah i just it made some sense to me and it's even before i met you it exit the roundabout onto helen's road be, my gut feeling is that's where i'm supposed to be living in a tiny house continue on a1 for oh, five yeah. kilometers build it right build it safe, um, all that kind of, you know, we believe in safety and doing your own research um, and doing a thorough job and I guess not everyone will. Um, but we but saw... At the same, sorry, at the same time I'm also thinking, well, if someone wants to do a shonky job on their tiny house, that's well that's fault. it, that's, and I'm sure they can live with that. And they might even be happy with that. So yeah, Fine, some building codes, yeah, as long as it doesn't affect the... Um, creative freedom, the design. The, yeah, well, not just that. I'm talking about the self-builders. So long as it doesn't affect those who are self-building. I mean, once upon a time, back in the 50s, not that, not so long ago, people built their own homes for their families. Yeah. Um, and it's all about um, going back to basics. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which... <laughs> Oh, she remembered. No, Look no, out. no, 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 oh. Darren and I were watching a documentary the other night, as we do. We like to watch our documentaries, don't we? We're intellectuals. <laughs> we were watching one. It's a new one on Netflix, Sustainability. I think that's what it was just on. Sustainable. I think it was called Sustainable. Or Sustainable. Um, it was about the agriculture um, industry. Am I right? Yeah. Um not very intellectual if I can't remember what we're watching but basically it was about our food supply and how it's mass produced and how there's farmers who are going back to basics the way it used to be 
growing food locally, selling food local to their um, local restaurants and chefs. And even farmers are recognising that it, we've got to go back to basics. It's the same with the housing industry. We need to get back to basics. Um, it's I, the movement. It isn't just about the house. I think we're all starting to wake up. The house is a tool. Yeah. <laughs> You're a tool. <laughs> no, shut up. Hey, blame Zach. <laughs> Shout out to Zach Giffen. Zach um, said in an interview we saw that uh, well, it was that wasn't an interview. It was a presentation that he and um, and John from Tiny House Nation did at a uh, at a function in the states. And Zach was saying the fact that it's not really about the house at all. The house is simply a tool that you can use to design the life the way you want. I remember sitting there, I'm doing my art, and life keeps getting in my way. I keep having to put my, my art supplies away because there's bills to pay, there's work to be done. And, and you've got to go off to work to earn the yeah, money to pay I the bills. I can't do the what thing that to I want to do, yeah. which is my passion to draw and create and I'd love to earn a, earn a living to be able to, to, to draw and create but it's like the system that we're in would rather me go out and and be a slave working a job that pays pennies to barely cover the rent, the rent. and the bills and the yeah. food and, it's like and you how, can't you're spinning your wheels how can you get ahead yeah, and that's what I was doing I was going from paycheck to paycheck how do I get out of this there's got to be another way. And I was reading an article in the magazine about a couple that bought a caravan, which they go on holidays in, and I thought, a caravan? I could live in a caravan. So then I started looking at vintage caravans because they were more affordable, and I loved the um, aesthetics of a vintage caravan. Um, and also, it's something that I'd love to do well. So um, it was, searching caravans online that I stumbled across this quaint little white um, shabby chic house it wasn't on wheels it was on a lake you probably know the one I'm talking about I don't know the name of it but it's a well known yeah I thought, image. Oh, that is stunning I love that I could live happily in that it's a bit and thrilling I, remember, I don't know what I where I I think it in Pinterest I think there was a comment in one of the images where they said um, tiny house on wheels. I thought, what's this tiny house on wheels? So I started Googling or searching on Pinterest, tiny house on wheels, and wow, I thought, wow, this is amazing. And I hadn't heard of any of them in, in Australia. Um, and I'm thinking, why aren't they here? And fast forward, I think it was about two years, not even two years, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm in the best in 500 metres at the roundabout, now, take the second exit and stay on Princess and Highway A1. Jobs. And I thought, well, I'm saving money. Um, and I remembered this idea of the caravan or tiny house. So I was just like, okay, tiny houses Australia. Bang, tiny houses Australia came up. So there was a community full of people. And in the first week, I got a lot of my questions answered from all, all the members, giving me the information I needed to start design one. Continue on A1 um, for one kilometre. I didn't have any information other than the pretty pictures that were out there. Um, I didn't know anything about trailers. I didn't know anything about the regulations or the limitations, the, the design constraints needed for the the roads here in Australia. I didn't know any of that information and in the first week I got all those answered. So yeah, very passionate about the, the group and the community that Darren started. Thank you my love. Don't get emotional on me. <laughs> in 500 metres at the you. roundabout continue straight to stay on Princess Highway A1. Yeah, so we knew at this game we're not professionals. We're still learning all about the technology. There's a lot to take in, actually. Um, what's the best tools to use? Um, cameras, mics, mics, shotgun mics, gimbals, hotel mics. Yeah. Um, cameras, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so, oh, not only 
And those that have actually got out there on YouTube have probably gone through this. Is you know we're getting our heads around the whole fact of, of having our faces and our voices and our presence on video for the world to see, and yeah. which is a bit nerve-wracking. You know, Lisa and I have got we're not the most confident people in the world, but you're a lot more confident than I am. He gets up on stage and can talk, and I, you'll, you'll never see me do that. I'm, I'm working on it. Just getting comfortable being in front of the camera and talking. A it video of Lisa on the radio. It doesn't help with you mimicking me. I have this thing where I go, hi, how are you going? And he likes to put my voice on. And so now I'm like, I can't say that anymore. No, that's your, that's your tagline. That's... It's like, he goes, hi, how you going? How you going? I'm Lisa. See? No. So whenever I hear myself say it, I think of that. And I'm like, no, I can't do that. Yeah, we, um, had, we got hit by a bird before, and before I thought I was recording, and I went and... <laughs> yeah, we don't I know if we've it. told you the story or not, because we, we thought... missed it. No, we just... Fuck, we were recording. An old man know. was walking. He wasn't really that old. He just... He would have been, what, 50? Had yeah. a grey beard, and he's just moseying across the road. Main Street of Ulladulla was this So we slowed, we slowed down to a full stop, let him cross, didn't even look at us, didn't acknowledge, just say yeah, thanks mate, nah, just yeah. in his own world, moseying along, she'll be right mate. We're very tired, it's been a long journey, looking forward to kicking our heels up tonight, having a drink and having a shower in the kitchen. <laughs>
set to go. Hi, Hi. Oh, there's someone that's just had a shower. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. And then you step through here. Oh, look, there's a step. Literally step through here. You got your little workspace and TV and plenty of storage. Turn around here. And you got your little couch. Sport floor space. And then you come through here and step up here. And you've got your bed, side table. Don't know why the cupboards are open, Darren. Darren! And then, let's step back. Then. I reckon this is ready. Yep. Ooh! Oh, you don't need to see my girly things. Bathroom. Let's step out so I'll get a better view. Oh! Hi. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hairy chest on. Rick? Hi. Is it ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, bedroom. Lounge room. Kitchen shower. And just in there is your powder room. So what do you reckon? Good enough, I reckon.